All right, today we're going to be doing a basic circuit in Multisim. First thing we're going to want to do is click on this ground symbol. We're going to want to click a DC power supply and a ground. We're going to connect the ground to the DC power supply. The reason why we need the earth ground is because any circuit in Multisim will not work without a ground. This is simply due to the simulation program being a little bit buggy, and it kind of always has been. Next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to get an indicator. We're going to want to click on the lamp. The indicators are underneath this box right here, this um, eight segment display. Connect that here to here and play. Now, you could figure out the amperage of this circuit relatively easy. You can do the 25 watts divided by the 12 volts. To do that, you simply have to go here. 25 divided by 12, which is two amp, approximately 2 amps. If you want to be precise, if you're doing a very exact circuit, you would ground these places. So the 8 could become a 1, so 2.1 amps. Or if you don't want a round, you can simply write this out, say here. That would be the easiest option for you. Next thing, how can we find the r resistance of this bulb? That's simple. We'll look at our formula right here. So R is equal to V divided by I. So now that we know our 2 amps is how much power, well, amperage this bulb takes. 25 watts is the power. The voltage that we're putting across the bulb is 12 volts. So what we can do is we can copy this number down, clear our calculator, do 12 divided by, let's see, can we paste? No. But we can, oh yes we can, there we go. So 5.76 ohms is how many ohms this bulb is. To verify that, what we could do is pause our diagram, go back under here, grab the light, we'll get our multimeter, connect that there, connect this here. And then when we play our circuit, we can go under ohms and 5.7. 76 ohms is across that bulb. So, the next thing we could figure out, if we didn't believe how many watts that says, we can put the meter across there. To do this, you will delete this lead, you will go from here to there, there to there. You will click play, you will click on the meter, and you can click amperage. And as you can see, we're getting 2.083 amps, the same as our math. So this bulb in a perfect simulation would be using exactly 25 watts. Now in a real circuit diagram, in a real circuit on a breadboard, there is losses between the traces of the breadboard. And on top of that, the bulb's resistance is usually calculated based off of average. So you may have differences. So a 25 watt bulb could be 20 watts or it could be 26 watts. So there could be differences with that. So do not panic if you have a difference in your amperage mim mimicking the circuit. I hope this was a great introduction for you and I look forward to continuing these. I hope you have a wonderful day. Goodbye.